What's up, everybody? I am back again with another video, and today we've been going on another two and a half men reaction. So, y'all know to do like, comment, subscribe, turn on the notifications, and make sure you don't miss another video. And let's get it. You ruined my life, Charlie Harper. Right, oh, bye. Don't touch me. You lied to me. You stopped calling me and started seeing my roommate. I opened my heart to you and you couldn't care less. Well, that's not fair. I could care less, a lot less. <laughs> that could have been ugly. You want to explain to me why this woman is sending you naked pictures of herself? I'd love to explain it. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. I said I'd love to, I didn't say I could. <laughs> Are you sleeping with her? No, no, of course not. Then why the pictures? Uh, well, my, 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 my best guess would be that, uh, like a lot of girls, she wanted to show off her new boob job. That's your best guess? Well, you wouldn't understand, because clearly God has blessed you with this great bounty. Damn it, Charlie, I want to know. Uh, excuse me, I'm on the phone. Shh. Alan's on the phone. Don't shush me. Who is this Rachel? Nobody, really. I used to go out with her way, way before you and I met, and I fell so deeply in love. Head over heels in love. Puppy dog love. Oof. Hang on, Melissa. I couldn't hear anything after you son of a bitch. Does this Rachel know you're engaged? Um. Think long and hard before you start lying to me. I was. That's why I said, um. She doesn't know. Why not? Boy, you're gonna keep this flapjack on the griddle, aren't you? <laughs> Berta, would you give us a minute? Oh, you're gonna need more than a minute. <laughs> so long, I'm gonna miss you. What are you talking about? She's not going anywhere, are you? Where, where are you going? Chelsea! Chelsea, wait. Can we just put this behind us? I, I, I swear, I'll never make out with your mother again. Let's face it, Charlie. We both knew you were gonna blow it eventually. I didn't. I had my suspicions, but I wasn't sure. I wish I could say the same. Goodbye. Oh, please don't leave. Oh, please don't hang up. I love you. The great thing about this piece is that it fuses a classical score with jazz choreography. Wow. <laughs> you know, on a counter-programming note, the Lakers are playing Miami tonight. Would you rather watch that? No, no, this is fine. Of course, I don't have a $500 bet down on the ballet. What channel? No, seriously, this is channel two. <laughs> you know, Charlie, you don't have to give up things that you like just because of me. Okay, great. Good to know. Hey, as long as we're on that subject... There's something I want to run past you. Go ahead. Well, let me just preface it by saying that I am all for holding off on the sex so our relationship can develop more, you know, deepness. I'm glad. I think it's working, too. I mean, we're getting so much closer than we would have had we just jumped into bed together. Good. Sounds like we're on the same page. And just to make sure we don't jump the gun, I was thinking maybe it'd be a good idea if I had an outlet that, you know, took the pressure off. An outlet? Yeah, an outlet. Something casual, meaningless. If I work it right, it could even be anonymous. You mean another woman? Well, that would be my first choice. But for the purposes of this discussion, let's stay with the more neutral term, outlet. I don't care what you call it. You're asking for permission to have sex with another woman. Only because I care about you too much to whore around without permission. Are you crazy? Okay, I'm gonna say this. I would never do that. I would never do that in, in real life. If I would have had the money, the cars, even the women, and the, even most of the women wants to have a deep connection and relationship, but I wanna never, I wanna never ask a woman, ask a woman for that. 
for permit for permission to have sex with another woman. Right, like that's crazy. That's crazy. I will never do that to a woman. Let's get back into it. I can't go back to the mango tree, Mia. <laughs> what? Look, I think this is a mature, thoughtful suggestion. In fact, there are many cultures that embrace the whole outlet concept as a way of strengthening and nurturing the, the primary love relationship. No. <laughs> you can't dismiss entire cultures with I'm going home. Oh, come on, we're just talking here. I propose an idea, we bat it around a little bit, and then we compromise. That's the cornerstone of a healthy relationship. How are we gonna compromise, Charlie? Are you gonna have sex with half a woman? Is that an option? <laughs> What's going on? We had our first fight. Oh, what about? I simply suggested that as long as we weren't having sex, it would be good for our relationship if I had sex with somebody else. Then she didn't buy that? Wouldn't even discuss it. Uh, women, huh? They say they want to talk, but they don't want to talk. Yes? Hey. What are you doing here? I came to apologize. I am sorry about last night. You're sorry? For ruining one of the most important nights of my career, for embarrassing me within an inch of my life. Well, yeah. I mean, unless I did something else. <laughs> no, you did quite enough, thank you. Look, I understand why you're mad, but it really wasn't my fault. I was nervous about last night, so my mother gave me what I assumed was one of her tranquilizers. But now I'm thinking it was a little something she had left over from Woodstock. Charlie, look, you're a lot of fun and, and I like you. But people are talking about me running for state senate next year. And I can't afford to be linked publicly to someone like you. Well, that's not a problem. We'll just sneak around and link privately. No, Charlie. Oh, come on. All the guy politicians have something on the side. Why shouldn't you? Take care. It would send a powerful message to young women everywhere. Layla. I'm going. Wow. Hey, Charlie. Guess who? I know we didn't make plans for tonight, but we really should get together and talk more about this path we are on and where it's heading. I mean, we know where it's heading, but it would mean a lot to me to hear the words come out of your mouth. Your beautiful, blessed mouth. <laughs> Call me sweetheart. Boy, it's weird being on the other side of one of these calls. <laughs> I can imagine. Well? Professional opinion? Please. Cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. Yeah, I thought so. I mean, she barely knows you. Where does she get off being so forward? Rose, we had one night together and you handcuffed yourself to my refrigerator. That was different. We were meant to be together. Okay, I was gonna ask you the best way to end this. But I realize now that breakups may be outside your area of expertise. Yeah, I do mate for life. I'm like a penguin that way. <laughs> Plus, I like to slide across the ice on my belly. <laughs> Uncle Charlie, guess what happened with Miss Pasternak today? Don't worry, buddy. I'm just about to break up with her. Oh, no, don't, don't. Why not? Look at this. Hey, he got an A in history. Way to go, Jake. Look at his answers. Abraham Lincoln signed the Emancipation Proclamation in pen. <laughs> For this, he got an A? Everybody got an A. She was, like, happy all day. She even gave me back my fake dog poop. Charlie, I gave you this poop. You broke into my house and left it on my pillow. Gifted. And I thought you were a classy guy.
Think you can fit your junk into that? I'll make it fit. Let's just go. No, no, no. Put it on over your pants. We'll take a look. <laughs> the heck you will. Well, Charlotte, you're embarrassing. Of course I am. That's why I came. Oh, oh sorry, sorry. Excuse me. <clears throat> Charlie Harper? Where? He owes me money. He's pastor now? Jake! Wow, look at you. Look how much you've grown. I reached puberty. <laughs> oh, oh, right, uh, Miss Pasternak, uh, uh, fifth grade, Woodward Avenue Elementary School. Oh, yeah, Miss Pasternak. Oh, yeah, Miss Pasternak. <laughs> so, uh, are you still teaching? No, no, I'm not. How are you, Charlie? Good, good. Nice to see you. Long time. You look terrific. Guess who's wearing a jock? Oh, nice. Well, it's great to see you all. Goodbye. Bye, Miss Pasternak. Dodged a bullet there. I'll say. She was kind of shook up after I broke it off with her. Kind of shook up? She went bananas and bit the gym teacher. Where? In the gym? You miserable son of a bitch. I gave you my heart. I gave you my soul. I gave you my body. And you just threw me aside like I was some piece of garbage. Yeah, my bad. <laughs> so what's new? Oh, you want to catch up? Yeah, sure. Let's catch up. Let's see. Um, well, OK, after you dumped me, I had a nervous breakdown. Well. It Sure looks like you bounced back. And then after my breakdown, I got fired and blackballed from teaching. Oh, bummer. So what are you up to now? I'll tell you what I'm up to now. I lost my house, I'm living in a cheap motel, and my new career is giving lap dances to strangers while I'm swinging by my crotch on a pole eight times a night. Have you considered an athletic supporter? Okay, well, thanks for the update. Nice seeing you. Move, move, move. You ruined my life, Charlie Harper. Righto, bye. We didn't pay for the job shirt. Just keep walking. How can you live with yourself, you horrible, evil man? He drinks. Why do you have to leave? Charlie, I have to get home. I have to feed my cat. I have to feed my fish. We've been in bed for three days. I'm guessing the cat's fed, and what's left of the fish is in the kitty litter. <laughs> well, I also have a job. Call in sick? I did it yesterday. Okay, call in horny. I'll write you a note. I wish I could. I love being with you. Me too. And having you here just makes it all the better. You know, we've been seeing each other for over two months now, and you've never spent the night at my place. Okay, well, go clean up the dead animals, and I'll come over tonight. Deal. I'll cook you dinner. Great. I think I love you, Charlie Harper. Thank you. I'll see you later. Wait a minute. Did you just say thank you? Did I? Yes. I said I think I love you, and you said thank you. What's that supposed to mean? Thank you? It's an expression of appreciation. Thank you. That's it. You don't have anything to add? Thank you so very much. Great. That's, that's great. I opened my heart to you, and you couldn't care less. Well, that's not fair. I could care less. A lot less. <laughs> Come on. What do you want me to do? Lie to you? No. I want you to drop dead, you smug, cold-hearted son of a bitch. Phew. That could have been ugly. Oh, my God. I'm done. Oh, my God. See, this is the reason why Charlie Harper is the worst guy is to be around with these type of women. Oh, my God. Yo, this is crazy. <laughs> oh god. Oh look. It's my sweet angel come to take me to heaven. <laughs> Don't touch me. I hope you're proud of yourself. Well, I didn't wake up in my own vomit, so yeah, kind of. You are such a child. Many people find that to be an endearing quality. I'm not one of them. It would appear not. <laughs> we had fun last night, though, right? Oh, terrific. What woman doesn't enjoy pleasing a man who falls asleep while he's in the middle of reciprocating? <laughs>
I have to stay vigilant. They trapped us in. Oh, that explains why I dreamt I was kissing Abe Lincoln. No biggie. Running shoes, reading glasses, flannel nightgown, and the latest issue of Modern Bride magazine. Red alert. <laughs> Lydia? What? I couldn't help but notice that you uh, put some of your stuff in one of my drawers. Yeah. Hey, you want to come in here and make up for last night? Well, yeah, but I think we should talk about this drawer thing. Okay. Talk. Four score and seven years ago. What the hell do you want? <laughs> what? Trisha broke off her engagement with Jeremy because of you! No, 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 no. <laughs> I was good, honest. He was crushed. My little boy had a nervous breakdown and tried to drink bleach. <laughs> yeah, but I was good. Oh, good. Chicha told us everything about you and her. Everything? And he was still crushed? <laughs> you lied to me. No, 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 I didn't lie. I just didn't tell. It was a long time ago, and I, and I didn't want you to be jealous because she's young and you're... I'm what? A real trooper? Drop dead. But I was good. Turn your head and cough. <coughs> you have very warm hands. Again? You have very warm hands. <laughs> So any chance I could take you out for dinner tonight? You're hitting on me? You started it. You're amazing. Well, statistically, I'm only slightly above average. <laughs> but I make up for it with enthusiasm and perseverance. No, what's amazing is that you don't remember me. I'm sure I remember you. You're the pretty woman cupping my testicles from earlier. <laughs> Back when I was in medical school, you and I went out for a couple of months. Huh. Um, you want to loosen your grip there? And then for reasons I never really fully understood, you stopped calling me and started seeing my roommate. The grip. Oh, my God! I always hoped I'd run into you again. Please, just leave me one. Nothing, nothing. I was going to the bathroom and I stepped on a cat. You don't have to sneak out. If you want to leave, leave. Whoa, I'd say someone woke up on the wrong side of the bed. <laughs> but I don't want to revisit that topic. Goodbye, Charlie. Gee, you sound kind of angry. Why would I be angry? Just because I drive to Malibu every night for a month and you won't stay even one night with me? Well, that, and, you know, possibly crippling your cat. Go home, Charlie. Are you sure? I'm begging you. Okay, if that's what you want. So, tomorrow at my place? <laughs> you make love like a woman, but you throw like a man. So there we are in this beautiful hotel room overlooking the ocean. And he's on the phone with his mother trying to help her download music to her iPod. You're kidding. And I just sat there thinking, Charlie would never do this. Charlie hates his mother with a blind passion. When you used to think that was a bad thing? And when Brad's not on the phone with his mother, he's telling me how much I remind him of his mother. I hope not while you were in bed, because that would reflect badly on everybody. You don't want to know. There's nothing to know. 
You went to Mexico with another man, he talked about his mother in bed, and you didn't have sex with him. Charlie. Yep, that's what happened. End of story. I should never have let you go. Well, sometimes you can't appreciate what you've got until you go to Mexico and don't have sex with a mama's boy. I'm sorry about Brad. I know that hurt you. Yes. Water under the bridge. You did what I did. Doesn't matter. What did you do? Doesn't matter. Charlie, no secrets. Please, can I just have one? Whatever it is, it doesn't matter. We were separated. All right. Here goes. I was having pizza with Alan and Jake the other day. By the way, Jake got a new haircut. It's just fabulous. Okay, well, you'll never guess who was there getting takeout. Your old buddy, Gail. Oh, my God, you didn't. Well, I didn't say I did, but good guess. I don't believe you. What? We were separated. You were in Mexico with another man. But she's my best friend. Yeah, well, I have to say the jury's still out on that. You are such a pig. A, a, a pig who hates his mother. Go to hell. Oh, come on. It was one o'clock in Cabo. So, why are you still here? Come on, Charlie, I'm a realist. Nobody our age comes without baggage. Well, yeah, but some people might think that my baggage is extra icky. Extra icky. That's actually a quote from a former girlfriend. Well, I think that a mature relationship has got to be based on honesty about our flaws. You know my flaws. Openness about our past. You know my past. And a willingness to forgive. I forgive. <laughs> I really like you, Michelle. I really like you, too. Hi, Charlie. There might be one more thing you should know about. Rose, this is not a good time. I just want to talk to you. I'm sorry, Michelle. This will only take a minute. Do I know you? Nope. Seriously, Rose, not now. How do you know my name? How does she know my name? Long story. Well, not really. Once you have a license plate number, the rest is cake. Could you give us a minute? No, she's not going anywhere. Charlie, who is this woman? Just a friend. Oh, I'm more than a friend. We dated. <laughs> Just once, eight years ago. You haven't seen her in eight years? Well, no, 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 not exactly. We'll stay in touch. You stalk me. Oh, please. Does a stalker babysit his nephew? Does a stalker sleep with his brother? Does a stalker's dad sleep with his mother, who you met at lunch the other day at Terrace Gardens? <laughs> Have you been following me? Not you. <laughs> Okay, Charlie, I'm a little freaked out here. I'm gonna go home. What? Why? Nice officially meeting you. Oh, come on, Michelle. Don't go. I'll get rid of her. No, 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 no. Clearly, you have lots to talk about. But what about all that stuff you said? You know, baggage, willingness to forgive. Obviously, I was wrong. <laughs> Michelle. No, look, I could deal with your mother, your brother, your nephew, your housekeeper. Yeah, no, 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 I'm not done. You're drinking, you're gambling, you're womanizing, but I am not putting up with your stalker. Really? That's where you draw the line? Seems a little arbitrary. Goodbye, Charlie. I like her. She's feisty. <laughs> Charlie, I'm telling you right now, I'm not going to sleep with you tonight. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Where'd that come from? Buy you a couple of drinks, invite you back to my house, and all of a sudden you think I want to sleep with you? Yeah? You mean you don't? Hey, we just met. Let's talk, get to know each other. If later down the road something happens, great. If not, we've each made a new friend. That is very sweet. Well. My mother raised me to be respectful of women, and I've always said, son of a bitch! What? That. That's what. Butterscotch candies? In about 30 seconds, they're gonna be butterscotch suppositories. <laughs> So you noticed it. Maybe I didn't make myself clear. 
I don't want this stupid bowl in my living room. No, you said you didn't want it on the front table for keys. So I put it on the coffee table for candy. Yeah, well, now it's on your head for a hat. <laughs> Get an unlimited phone plan from Google Fi Wireless at $80 per month for two lines. Enjoy. I am sorry I had to set my brother straight. I don't know why you're making such a big deal out of this. It is a nice bowl. It is a hideous bowl. It makes me nauseous just to look at it. Oh, you're being ridiculous. Isn't this a nice bowl? It's okay. See? Two against one. No, no, no. No, there's no voting. You're just a freeloader and she's just some one-night stand I picked up in a bar. Oh, damn. <laughs> Goodbye, Charlie. Oh, come on. <laughs> you believe I can't believe Oh God! Oh God! Oh no! Oh no! This is <laughs> oh my God! This is too funny. I'm... Don't leave. You know what the worst part is? I actually believe the things you said. You're kidding. <laughs> Teddy and Mom are downstairs. Are you kidding? What the hell are they doing here? Apparently you invited them. I did not. Yes, you did. On the phone, remember? Hey, Alan. Hi, Gurney. How you doing? Charlie, they're waiting. <laughs> yeah, we got a problem here. No, 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 sir. You got a problem. I made no promise. I broke no promise. You actually made a promise. Yeah, and I really tried to keep it. He did. I can sense his inner conflict as we were doing it in the back seat of the Bentley. <laughs> Look, just stall them. I'll be right down. Fine, but know this, Charlie. I am not taking the fall for you. How could you take the fall for me? I don't know, but it always seems to work out that when you get laid, I get screwed. <laughs> just go. <laughs> great. Just great. Hey, have you seen my dress? Why? Well, I ain't going down like this. <laughs> You're not going down at all. Why not? I have nothing to be ashamed of. Here, hit rewind. I'm sure you'll find something. <laughs> you gotta love a kid like that. I even played him Stairway to Heaven, and he still liked the Maple Loop song better. Charlie, I haven't seen you in two weeks. You finally got the house back to yourself. Now, do you want to talk about your nephew, or do you want to have sex? Oh, sex. Definitely sex. <laughs> Let me ask you something. Yeah? You ever think about having kids? Whoa, Charlie, we got a good thing going. Can't we just leave it at that? What are you doing? I thought we were gonna have sex. How am I supposed to have sex while your biological clock is going off? Hey, it's Charlie. Do your thing when you hear the beep. Hi, monkey man. <laughs> Wondering why we hurt each other so much. Rose, it's me, Monkey Man. <laughs> Charlie? Yeah, hey, listen, uh, let me ask you a question. Is there something inherently wrong with asking a woman you're involved with if she wants kids? Oh, Charlie, we got a good thing going. Why do you want to mess it up? Hmm, tepid. <laughs> so, London certainly agrees with you, Rose. You look beautiful. Thank you, Charlie. I just can't believe you're here. Yeah, well, I wanted you to know I've been thinking a lot about you lately, and I miss you. Oh, Charlie, I miss you, too. Are you seeing anybody? Actually, I am seeing someone, but I'm not really sure where it's going yet. <laughs> you? To be honest, there is one lady I've been dating. She's actually my own age. No. Yeah. <laughs> But my therapist says she's not good for me. And you think I am? Well, you've always loved me for who I am instead of who I could be, which is really wonderful because, let's face it, we both love who I am. I do love you, Charlie. Great. So? So what? So, what's next? What do you mean? Well, you can't expect me to go back to what we had without a commitment. 
a commitment? Yes. I think we should get married. Married? Sell the house in Malibu and move to a kid-friendly neighborhood here in London. Kid? Kids. We're gonna have kids, aren't we? Good afternoon, and welcome aboard British Airways Flight 472, non-stop to Los Angeles International Airport. Congratulations, Your Honor. Well deserved. Oh, thank you, Councilman. You know, I'd like you to meet my friend, Charlie Harper. Charlie, this is Councilman Stewart. <laughs> Charlie? Yeah, hi, how are you? Uh, again, congratulations. Thanks. <laughs> Charlie, are you okay? I'm wonderful. <laughs> Look at all the colors. <laughs> It's like I'm drinking a rainbow. It seems to me that it'd be more fair if everybody on both basketball teams was the same height. That's how it seems to you, huh? Yeah, like in boxing. Heavyweights fight heavyweights, lightweights fight lightweights. So, in your world, everybody on a basketball team would be, say, six foot five, and they'd only play other teams that were six foot five. Exactly. That way no one would have an unfair advantage. Huh. That's very interesting. You really think so? No, but it's less likely to start a fight, and that's the dumbest thing I've ever heard. And yet you said it anyway. <laughs> Listen, I've got to talk to you about something. Okay, dumb was a poor choice of words. It's not about that. Then can I wait till halftime? No. <laughs> got to go to a funeral this weekend. Oh, man, I'm sorry. Who died? My ex-mother-in-law. I couldn't wait till halftime. Charlie. I'm just saying, she'll still be dead in halftime. I was very close to her, and I want to pay my respects. So I'm going to Santa Barbara, and I'll be spending the weekend with my ex-husband. Oh, OK. Define with. Everyone's staying at his parents' house. All right. What, well, do you want me to come with you? No. Great. <laughs> Why not? You want to come? Hell no. That's what I figured. Look, I just want to be upfront with you. I was married to Alex for eight years, and I just don't want you to get the wrong idea. I wouldn't have had any idea if you hadn't felt the need to tell me. <laughs> Yeah, well, I don't want us to have any secrets from each other. Oh, I agree. We definitely should not have secrets. Right. You know, from this point forward. <laughs> so what kind of guy is this, Alice? He's a good guy. We just got married too young and wanted different things. You wanted something different than your things? Because your things are terrific. Thank you. He didn't go gay on you, did he? No. Rats. Are you jealous? No, no, of course not. I mean, maybe a little, you know, in the sense that his mother's dead. <laughs> oh, man, I am so lucky to have her in my life. You've had a lot of wonderful women in your life. But you always find a way to sabotage the relationship. Chelsea? She's right, Charlie. If there's a way it can be blown, you'll blow it. And not in a fun way. Yeah. Tell me something, Charlie. Do you think your inability to commit and all your macho posturing is because deep down you're afraid you're gay? You know, I've wondered that too. Are you just a big old mo? He's not a mo. He's got mommy issues. Lots and lots of mommy issues. Lydia. Hey. It's Lydia. Excuse me. Why does everyone blame the mother? Frankly, I think you were more on target with that homo theory. Okay, I don't want to be high anymore. Men, 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 manly men, 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 manly men.
Oh, oh my God. Um, <laughs> oh my God. That was funny as shit. Y'all gotta go check this out. All right. Because I'm gonna say this to y'all. I had like, I'm gonna say this from the beginning. Like two and a half men is funny. where your shipping address types itself. Oh my god, man, that was too damn funny. That was too damn funny. Oh man. So anyway, I want to thank y'all guys for being like um <clears throat> I'm sorry for being so patient to let me to drop another video because I had a lot of going on with my phone and stuff like that. So I was spending it to y'all later. So I hope y'all guys having an amazing day. Don't forget, like comment subscribe hit the notifications and make sure you don't miss another video and i will see you guys in the next time video peace